Okay, that's a lie. I didn't take a shower by myself. Less potentially more risk to a, the virus. Do you prefer taking a higher risk and yet still working? Or do you wish you were furloughed, furloughed or whatever um, and staying safer, but at the same time worrying about bills and money? Which, what, what, what's kind of your side on that? I like to interact with people and hopefully they're not creepy and just trying to play games and do educational things. Very nice, very nice. I just get on here and do whatever pops up. Sometimes I go to play games. Um, but don't ask Steggy because he'll lie and say I never play games. So, how about we just get right down to it and play then? Let's get over here to these mother trackers. Hello. Jesus. Like I was uh, saying, we got Go Snapper Steggy Hard Luck, and I think yo. that's Knox. Is that right? The one and only. So, hello, everybody. Tell everybody hello. 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 <laughs> hello. All right, guys. So, we are playing on Roll20, you said? Yeah, Roll20.net. All right, how do I do that? Uh, go to Roll20.net. Roll20.net. Make a free account. Using the link in the top right corner. It's still a thing. Here, I'll show it so you all can see where I'm at. Yeah, but do you have an account made already? Me? Yeah. I, no one's told me to make an account, so I have done nothing thus far. Oh, okay. Yeah, just just do that. Do that first, and then uh, you're going to follow the link that's provided to you after that. Roll20.net. There we go. There we go. All right, so sign in. Sign up. Now you guys get to see me create my account here. My first name is Martin. My last name is Casals. So I'll wear it out. There's my email. Surprise. My first name, my last name, at Gmail. Wow. And password 123, you said. That's right. Password 123. 12345. That's the same password as my love. <laughs> That's still one of the best shows ever. <laughs> Uh, I don't care about joining the newsletter. I agree. I need to do that when I assume. What? The newsletter? Human Tornado! What's up, my man? Are you streaming now, bro? Welcome, Martin. Let's set up a few things. Can I just play through? I mean, English? Yes, I like to speak English. Yeah, sure, Martin C. Wizzy, your blah, blah, blah. Start playing. All right. Say. Let's see. Let's see. I wish I could stay home and not really worry about money. However, I'd like to serve my community. The position I have is very key to many people's lives. Can you remind us, Jeremy, what your position is? What do you do uh, during this quarantine? Also, to make a comment on your post, Alicia, I got your back as mod. All right, Jeremy, you're as mod on for Alicia's stream. That's awesome. Tornado, are you streaming? Talk to me, brother. How you been? All right, fellas. So I just went to roll 20. Now what? One moment. Oh, so, stand by. If you look in the Dungeons and Dragons account or uh, channel in Discord, at the very uh, is the link to the specific game. So then I just click that. Yes, sir. I think Roll Twenty is the same way as uh, Takahata plays it too. The town on the hill. Uh, launch game, I assume? C. You hate being home? You can't make surprise appearances. Ooh, I would like to see a surprise appearance by you near me sometime, my friend. Alright, roll 20, tutorial start now. I've got it. Whatever, I'm just gonna let you guys show me. Roll yeah, 20 wants access to my microphone and camera. Do I allow that? Nope. Rock. 
You're going to deactivate that right now. Okay, so it wasn't even... So Thorn uses roll 22, right, Stags? This one's a whole lot easier to manage your character sheet than your tabletop is, but tabletop looks like Because I recognize all of these uh, things down here below, like all the names and the pictures, and I really enjoy, enjoy that. I think that's really cool. Why the hell did it give me this weird pattern, but Marty gets, you know, like, boom, right there, Aztec. This is some bullshit. Because it's going off of your profile picture of something. I don't know what that profile picture is of me. Yeah, I had to upload mine. And that picture is like from 2015 or something. It, it, right now it's just black. Is it supposed to be doing something right now? Am I waiting for something? No, you can't see it. You can't see above the walls. Ah, there's walls. Okay. Okay, all right, so we're going to play it this way, so that means I could come over here to games and window capture this. Bam, bam. Thank you, thank you very much. Ah, human tornado coming in with the house. Dude, I won't lie, I thoroughly love being home. This, this uh, quarantine has been... Like heaven to me, I won't lie. I'm stuck at home with these dogs and this girl with her booty. Yeah, I can see over the walls on uh, Bright Street. You can what? I can see over the walls on Jackie Street. Oh, yeah, because ah. that's the GM thing. Wow, cheaters. Cheaters. <laughs> I see how yeah, it is. You didn't put the divider up. The stream is the divider, dude. Come on. Okay, okay so, Marty, uh, your stream is kind of messed up. Yeah, I'm trying to get it so this could be in my games, and like so this could be in the whole stream. But it is all sorts of skewampus, right? Do I need do I need people to see this? The roll twenty. I'm just gonna do that, yeah. Yeah, you show everything because first you have your character sheet that you're gonna have to pull up. Bam. Okay, there. How did he do it so good? Why can't I make this stay on the same screen? Barricade, what is up? What is up? How is you? How is you? I am trying to set up Dungeons and Dragons for the second time. I'm kind of excited. So, did you guys all pick different characters? Or am I the only one with the same character? My my character is fairly different. I'm totally different. Totally different. I actually have one this time too. All right. Uh, maybe I'll go like that. I guess. Ugly as shit. All right. I'd say for now, while we walk you through how to use this, just show everything. Just show uh, everything. Yeah. Go ahead on the top, on the right hand side where you see the chat or whatever. Go to the third. Um, tab at the top that says journal. Is it journal for you? No, the second one. Yeah, it's the second Journal one. second. All right, you're going to click that. You're going to click where it says Macho Tar. Macho Tar, okay. Yeah, look at my sex, yes. You go to character sheet, and you're, you're just going to want to keep it open. All right, I'm going to go to this one. 
Yeah, because it's a separate tab. And like anytime you need to make a check, you're just gonna click uh, where it says stuff. So like, for example, let me use one of you boys. Stuff. I got you guys to walk me through. I'll be all right. Barry Katie says, I've never played D&D, &D, but I used to play Vampire the Masquerade. Have you guys heard of Vampire the Masquerade? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, I'm very familiar with it. It's pretty cool. I've yeah, never there's heard actually of uh, a new video game coming out for it <laughs> sometime this year. That sounds cool. See, if, if it's a video game, then that, that pops my attention. That gives me a gamer bonus. Uh, however, I've not played these fantasy games, so this has always intrigued me. All right, so this is my character sheet. So I just need to keep this somewhere. Yeah, so that way, for example, you got, uh, you want to make a roll for something. Like, let's say uh, you want to climb a wall. There on your skills, it'll they'll, they'll have climb. You know, you click where it says climb. It should automatically have it at public roll. Submit, and it'll automatically do it there on the
Tower or something? Macho, Macho Tower, tower. Told. Macho Tower. I like that better than Macho. Well, whenever you were speaking in your in-game voice last session, you kept doing a Macho Man impression. So. I did? <laughs> <laughs> I, I might have changed your character's name a little. Sounds good to me. No shit, I hit exit game. I didn't want to exit game. Launch game. You're doing wrestling, the category says wrestling. Is there a Dungeons and Dragons category? There's a Pathfinder one that you should probably set yourself to. Yeah, because yeah. we're technically playing Pathfinder, which is basically an older edition of D D that was repurposed. Slightly different, yeah. Still made by the same manufacturers. It's called Pathfinder? Yep. yep, second one. There you go. Not Kingmaker, the second one down. There you go. That's also a fun game. That is a fun game, but Maker, that's a computer game, one. not a... There you go. That it's, is um, also the actually, playing game, but yeah. It's that is actually a based game, on game, one of the adventure a, paths that lets you... It's, it's, uh, it's very um, King of thrones -y, the way you're supposed to play that adventure path. It's a very long adventure path. <laughs> yeah. But Marty does play games, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, I don't play games, so there. What is the game? And now I lost where I was supposed to be. I, this one? This one? No. Did I do a different one? Wait, did I close down the thing? Nope, go back to roll 20. There this you is go. roll 20. Uh, click on game. Games. And oh, you're hit home. <laughs> what did shit happen? Launch kit. A town on the hill. Yep, I got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not let them not do that. Then I come over here and I click on journal and then I go to Macho Tor, bring up my character thingmajigger, lower this down, boom, shakalaka. There we go. All right. Nothing, were you gonna set the camera? Where do I need to set it? Uh, I'm setting my camera. Oh. Go to your gear on the right. Oh, Enable 3D Scroll. dice. Oh yeah, I would highly recommend that because that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, now scroll all the way to the bottom. And you want to look for the... I want to broadcast to others. So like... I want to broadcast to others. Some video on video. voice. Video Just only. Because we're in Discord, we don't need to play. Okay. And then I want to receive from others video only. I can see through the scars inside you. Do I have to get re reconnect then? Or is yep, that like reconnect? Get that to say. Okay. Well, it's just to stand, I could just put it in front of the thing. We are trying a Storyteller's Apprentice. Do you have a lot of experience with Roll20? Hi, Lily Bear. How you doing? How's your streaming life so far? I like this. Is that a set? Is that like a samurai or what? what is this figurine? Oh, That's I get to magician Liger mask. You're playing Liger Liger. Yeah, I got a black. Word of the show. Why was your day stupid, Lily Bear? Well, storytellers is literally my first time using. So, all right, what else are we doing? At this point, we're just kind of waiting to get started. Okay. Personally, I'm working on my backstory. 
Oh, oh yeah. If you want to look at backstories, you can click on the other character. Oh, there's not a sexy okay. face. I think he's got a really good one. He has a... Where am I clicking for a backstory? Uh, if you go to oh, journal. Oh, yeah, where is it? Oh, journal. <laughs> what? Hi. And take on the next. Or you want the Joker one? No, they better not take... Fuck, no, it can't even... Uh, excuse me? We are, we're in a mask order? Oh, but then you can't hear me. Sound all pendejo. I did order my Darth Vader. But the spirit of the Space warrior Space. live. Oh, he's got the. Ooh, what is that? I put it on my back. Can you put my water in? Sure. My hair down as well. Much like the warrior. Are you serious? Yeah, of course. Uh, excuse me, the word, the spirit of the warrior lives within me. Hey, Jenna, how you doing? It'll be easier to play experience for you than the tabletop simulator, but you won't get the 3D visuals. I just want to understand what the hell I'm doing. And Steggy's been awesome at showing me. Nappa's been here helping me. Now we got the dungeon master. That reminds me, Marty. We should probably put your Discord back to uh, push to talk. Oh yeah. That way you can separate stream from in-game speaking. Which was here, voice and video, push to talk. Not that I don't want to hear your sexy voice. You don't want to hear my stream at all? What jerks. See, I play games with these guys. You don't want to be in my stream anymore. Wait, could you guys even hear that? Hear what? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, we hear you on Discord. Mm -hmm. But can you hear me like right now? In Discord. I only heard you in stream on that one, so... Yeah, it, it, it's set up correctly. Awesome. Okay, alright. Probably we're ready to get started. Unless y'all want to do like, uh, introduce yourselves, all that. All the, uh, what is that word? All that courteous stuff. Yeah, if you guys want to introduce yourselves, Introduce for yourselves. I am Nicholas Kidd. I am a summoner. Uh, half elf. About six feet tall, I got the pointed ears of a half elf. Uh, got a longish hair, wearing ratty ass clothes. I got a light crossbow on my back. And nothing really special about me, except for the giant fucking monster that's walking near me. It kinda looks like Carnage, better than Spider Man. Uh, it's got a fiery aspect to it. It's tall, it's scary looking, and yeah, that's about it. Um, My character's uh, name is Chris. Uh, she is a human from some local town. Uh, she's a grew up on the streets. Mother was a prostitute died at a young age forced to kind of fend for herself um, so a human female she's about 16 right now she's a rogue uh, and you may notice a faint glow from one of the strange curved looking short swords that she has and she's got shifty eyes whenever she looks around she's got Relatively dark skin, brown hair, brown eyes. Uh, and she's short, 5'2", 105 pounds. 
I'm a shifty block myself. These tokens aren't loading in the front, but that's fine. Uh, Mr. Gelmuk? Uh, I am Gelmuk Firemane. You hear me now. I am a half orc. This is great. It's not uh, to you guys. I yeah, have yeah, an not unusual yeah, red yet. tint to my hair. New system, um, but now I kind of got it set up a little bit where people can see things. And I am wearing coming, some neat-looking uh, armor, and uh, I have a spiked chain. Ooh, a spiked chain, kinky. Very good. Alright. I'm sweating balls over here. No, sorry, I'm not the right. of green hands. <laughs> I have called upon you adventurers. I, me, myself, the uh, trillionaire playboy. Uh, not the Von, uh, Von Doom. Uh, for a shipment of items that I need delivered to me. Uh, that's why I've uh, gone ahead and paid for y'all's uh, adventure here in this wonderful uh, country of Ustalov, known for its um, Hello, I Jackie. Say, I want to hear you of, uh, Necromancy. Necromancy. Uh, besides that, there is a very large shipment of what is known as Metal Stone. From one of the local factories here. Middlestone is a. Uh, Y'all know what hempcrete is, right? Uh, it's like an alternative type of concrete made uh, using hemp. However, this is a made. Uh, we have a good one. The toxic properties of what's called uh, carrion roaches that grow about the size of German shepherds. Ew. Uh. Big shipment I needed brought to me. Uh, Y'all can just escort it back to the. Oh, that uh, would have been awesome. Jack, you can play with us. Uh, but I've heard great things of you. For we will. We will. I've got some awesome people. Uh, and your you guys able here. bodies. So they're gonna have. have we're gonna have some fun. If at all possible, there is also a grimoire that uh, rumors say may be within the walls of the city, just known as the Hill. The hill has over 5,000 years of history of just war. War and pain. That it was literally built upon itself. Every time a new conquest, it would create, uh, you know, they would pile the literal bones of the losers on top of the rubble and create the town over it. I imagine this done over several dozen times in the past 5,000 years. Uh, as I said, I gave y'all a wagon, a nice chuck wagon, two donkeys, one horse. You can name it as you wish. Uh, oh, those, yeah. are, those are gifts that I personally have given to y'all. The horse is brown, the donkeys are uh, light gray. You laughing at? No. And the donkey Jackie. The All in favor run. say aye. The what? The bat story run. Not yet. <laughs> Not I second yet. the notion to name the donkey Jackie. <laughs> I just don't know. When, donkeys, when the donkey's named Jackie, do y'all agree? Aye. <laughs> sure. Good, good. Um, the other one's right. named Victoria. Alright. <laughs> All opposed? Then what's the name of the horse? Leslie. <laughs> yeah, baby. And Marty rides the horse. As often as I can. Gee. Wow. Very well. Uh, as y'all enter... As y'all come across the entrance of this beautifully... Smelly city. For some reason, it smells like a light hint of sewage and um, dead bird. I don't know if you've ever smelled a dead bird, but that's what it smells like. Putrid town. 
but it's mainly coming from the billowing chimneys uh, several miles down the river. Where, of course, the factory is of the, of the thing I, I'm asking for. Uh, but I asked y'all to meet with the local mayor first. Uh, due to the fact that there have been stirrings of an ancient cult problem. Now, of course, most people think that it's nonsense, but you never know. Uh, what? Uh, y'all, y'all, y'all come to the entrance. You have a huge billboard on it. it. Says, "The hill needs heroes. Men of stout heart and bravery are asked to come." To the Crown Manor, with all haste, to speak with the mayor, there to receive a task worthy of their skills and talents, and a reward of suitable magnificence. Make haste. I need a hero. I don't know what do, because it doesn't seem to be allowing me to put token. I shall make haste. I do like money. I would also like to make haste. I shall I, make at least as much haste as everyone else. I like as much haste as everybody else, and this place smells like ass and death, so I like them both. Oh, man. Make haste! Uh, say, <laughs> uh, un unlike Mashotar, I do not dig it. Ooh, yeah, I dig it! Uh, moving through the he streets tastes. of the hill, <laughs> flies against pack the building <laughs> car. But What's up, Fearless? How you doing? playing Dungeons & Dragons for the second time in my life. physical structure of the material, it just seems like... Rev Lutcraft! Thank you like, much for like, the follow! Yeah, I was watching for ya. Uh, but you do notice there are people peeking through their windows, uh, through their curtains. Very, very shifty, very, uh... Uh, paranoid, almost. Uh, making your way towards the manor, which is very close to the entrance. You know, you can clearly tell it's the it's the only place that looks like it's been clean for the past few decades. It's very true, Jeremy. Uh, Sometimes these locked But looking around, you do notice horrible. that there seems to be uh, rows of crows, crows so where are you from? Uh, and ravens. But a look, up, a look up above also lets you see that they seem to be circling almost like vultures uh, following your paths, maybe good 30 or 40 feet above. What a delightful city. And smell. They better not shit on me. I wouldn't I, advise you. I'll laugh at you. <laughs> I hope you get shit on too, bud. Well, then we can be shit bros. Shit bros! <laughs> uh, approaching the uh, Crown Manor are two guardsmen dressed in black leather uh, and chain, wielding bows, stand guard. They see you approach, and their somber expression seems to lighten up upon seeing... Y'all, uh, come, come closer. And they wave, they wave y'all over. Over here! D can we help you, Mr. Guard? I say tentatively. Yeah. Oh, tentatively. Uh, you must be the adventurers we sent for. Man. Speak with the hey, mayor. Hey, beautiful girl, how are you with doing? With haste. Leslie, I don't Indeed. know, we just oh, got to the gate, so you know is that, is that, What is the mayor's name, good sir? My, the missive didn't list it. His, his name is Mayor Haggerty. Mayor Haggerty, thank you, sir. Yes, you'll be able to notice him right away. He's the only one in our 94 degree weather. <laughs> so do, that. it's not celsius do, do we need to knock or just can we just go in no no they they lead you uh they open the door right in. see a man with uh wearing uh fur-lined clothes just like walking around 
papers strewn about the floor, speaking with uh, guards, mumbling. He seems very erratic. Uh, nice, and of course, I heard that game's good. Tell me about open, it, He Haley. sees y'all. I get better than uh, that? Runs straight to y'all, starts doing that, you know, the old handshakes. Yes, you welcome, welcome. Are y'all the, uh, are you all the adventurers sent by uh, the good Lord Knox? E- yes, Mayor Haggerty, as I fan myself gently with my hand. It's steaming in here. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. It is hot. You're right. But I thank you for att- for attending uh, attending to us in our hour of I'm the a minute tour, Jerry. Uh, so I had a long battle character. and uh, the sexy he, hair. He just gets like he just starts getting a little more rat, starts biting his nails, uh, then just gets a somber look on his face. Heaves a big sigh. As you may may or may not have heard. The first of the attacks occurred this early morning. Something enormous came up from below the city and just wreaked havoc on one of the one of the uh, bazaar's buildings. Hi, Kaylee. How's Valorant? We we don't know how much more damage has been done. But our guards are finding pieces of people. Probably That's close to half a dozen locals. And some of our guards have been found, of course, as I said, in pieces. My character dry heaves a little. Not that another. What? What'd you say? Hmm? I said that sounds delicious. My uh, character dry heaves again. <laughs> The, the the mayor looks shockingly, but at this point he'll take what he can get and uh, lets everyone know since then whatever it was has moved on but it has surfaced at least three times in other parts of the city the same exact motion destroying buildings body parts they're not they're not they're not whole some are flattened some are desanguinated. I, I I don't understand. Whatever it may be, the people are the people grow restless of this horror. Please find find anything you can, evidence of what this creature could be or um, help in any way. Well, of course, I will pay you handsomely for any kind of help or evidence that you may find. Uh, he snaps his fingers uh, to towards one of the guards that brings birth, uh, a small coffer, uh, opening it with gold, gold coins. Now you're talking. My eyes bulge a little bit. You said bulge. <laughs> we give you five hundred. Oh, wearing a cow. Oh yeah, the only magic work for Twitch and see some of these. A lot of times you can probably see a lot of what the hell's going on in these streams. I'm sure. I'm sure the Twitch chat mods see a lot of stuff. Uh, this is 500 gold coins. Haley, how you been? With another 1,000 waiting for you upon your of some some manner of way to to face this horror. Uh, Is there anything else? Valorant. That sounds like a good one. Page streams? I didn't know page streams. I've been doing alright. I've yeah. actually been thoroughly enjoying this quarantine, to be honest. This is the commercial break. Yeah, one sec. I got a... Yeah, I got a phone call. One second. You left us bulging. Throbbing. Throbbing, yeah. Ha ha ha, nice, Leslie. Capuchin with all the knees. Oh, yeah. Does anybody, is it anybody in my chat? What, what college is this? 
if anyone is still have my stream on. No idea. Probably Texas something. Isn't Texas Longhorn a, a thing? Nope. You having Texas Longhorn fans here? Is this their is this their logo and mascot? Could be Florida something, Dirt, you know? Wait, Steggy, Paige streams now? Yep. What's her channel? I'll follow her. She's gorgeous. Yeah, you don't want to do that. She's pretty toxic. For reals? Yeah, she did the old, uh, you can't talk in my channel if you're not a sub because if you're not going to pay, you're not worth my time. What? Uh, That's almost as bad as that bitch Carol Baskins. I was still yet to see that. You're thinking more of the rock? So which one is this? Does anybody know what this one is? Jamie with all the Brutuses, the cute ass little Brutuses. How's the nephew and niece? Or is it just nephew? Just nephew. Like, how does that make you appealing to people? I agree. Mm, so, I've probably. seen that a lot, actually, is people like, if you're in here, you should be subbed, and no, well, you might, I'm not, like, I won't take any advice, or you're not allowed to talk, unless you're subbed. What is your guys' thoughts on that? Why would they do that, or vice versa? Shitty human beings, mostly. <laughs> Ghost, hard luck. I mean, I can see valuing a sub's input more because they've spent time and effort and they're invested in you and what you're doing. Whereas anyone who follows you could just be some trolling asshole. But the, like Steggy said, that's still kind of shitty. Hard luck. Is he on commercial break right now, too? Pathfinder by Knox, brought to you by HeTap. HeTap, <laughs> you know you've killed for long. <laughs> I, I get that reference. I agree, and the sad thing is, no one needs the stream revenue. It's true, she doesn't. She's Well, everyone cause always wants to make more money. It's a free platform with the option to pay for a subscription if it's available. Not everyone's going to have money to do for it, therefore complaining about not getting subscription is really sad. I agree. So Emma Mutt on my stream says it's a free platform with the option to pay for a subscription if it's available. Not everyone is going to have money to, to do so, and therefore complaining about not getting subscriptions is really sad. I agree with you, Emma Mutt. Uh, you streaming... No one, because you hit go live, that doesn't mean anyone owes you shit, in my opinion. Just because I hit mm -hmm. go live, it doesn't mean anyone needs to pay me any money. Like, that, that, I feel like that's a sense of entitlement that, hey, because I hit that button, you should pay me something. Just because I hit go live, it doesn't mean you should give me money for, for what, entertainment? I'm, like, most of the time, I'm hanging out with everybody. Like, I, I think asking, I don't even ask for subs, but like saying something like I I don't value your opinion or I don't care about you or you shouldn't be in this chat without supporting, that is redonkulous. Everyone has their own different situations and time is something you can't get back. Subs are fantastic, but time is something that you can't get back. I know a streamer who does I know a streamer who does open chat, but his incentives for subs are you can play certain games with him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit, that got me. What was that? That was a stream loot. What? Oh, that got me hard. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what happened, Marty? I have the audio off. Uh, there was a, I, I don't know if somebody played a card, because, like, my alerts haven't been popping up. 
I don't know if somebody... Oh, sorry, I had the not button pushed. I don't know if somebody played a card or... No, someone had to play a card. Uh, and it scared the living shit out of me. It's probably that stupid Momo thing that always gets me. Somebody played a card and it scared the crap out of me. So, that's what happened. Nox, you're good, man. Take your time. I know a streamer who does open chat, but the incentives are subs, okay? So everyone can play and join, but subs get special games. I agree, subs should get, like, every, everyone's a time is what's the most important asset anybody ever had. So, like, subs in my channel get to do song requests, and they get priority in games. However, most games, like, right now, where our channel size is good enough, so, like, everyone can get it. Why aren't those showing up for me? That hurt reminds me I need to turn my headset. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's the thing. I just need to turn it down. But turning it down, like, also makes it so I don't see a lot of stuff. I know. I don't know why the alerts aren't showing. Oh no, somehow I messed up my character sheet. I think alerts are under stuff, Jackie. Like it's all level one again. Level one? You have different level. Oh, I'm level five. Hell yeah. Wait, do you get like more experience by the more time you play or something? You want to kind of go play Valorant? All right, go ahead. Have some fun playing Valorant. Tell me more about Valorant before you leave. Because Martin Mouth broke his stream again. Please fix it. Honestly, it's something that I need to take the time. Let's see, what's tomorrow? It, this weekend, hopefully, will be the time I can take time to actually like go through and make all of this work like it's supposed to. Because once we switch over to Stream Elements, we, we, we upgraded a lot of things. Where's your capture pad? Write it down. Right here, actually, right in front of me. Not showing in games. Very nice, Kaylee. So wait, what system do you play it on? Is it something that we can play together? Leslie, do you have any stream loot cards? Let's test this, because it should be showing up. Yeah, Kaylee, if you have one. I just want to test it to see if it works, because it seems like... And they're not popping up, and somebody put in a scare one and scared the crap out of me, but I don't even know which one it was, or who played it. There we go! Okay, now we got it fixed. Thank you, Kaylee. I just had, it was underneath stuff. Thank you much. Kaylee, tell me what's been going on with you. How's quarantine for you? What day is this for you guys on quarantine? <laughs> Leslie Dean, what day is it for us? Can you check the calendar? Why does your little guy hate quarantine? Isn't that more time with you? I sure am. On, I am on Cameo, Darth. Uh, I'm going to... My friend Sophie sent me one. She created one. Um, and I, I'm going to switch over to that one, so that one's going to be a different one. So, put in the cameo quick before I switch over, and I'll probably actually do that this weekend. So you might want to hold on, Darth Relic, and, and so I'll put in the new one. He hates the isolation. Okay. I've been enjoying the crap out of it, to be honest. You lost track of quarantine? I can, I can understand that, Jeremy. You're still working, so it's not like a big thing. Oh, 
It's 28. What's 28? 28. All right. Me and Leslie now are on day 28 of our quarantine. Where are you guys sitting at? All right. I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry for the massive delay. It's all good, man. The uh, oh, sweet. What is that? Oh, yeah, there's no more questions. Mayor Haggerty, um, one of these soldiers that looks a little more has a little more decoration on his armor, uh, to escort y'all to the place of the attack. Okay, uh, one quick thing before we yeah. continue, Marty. Uh, we're no longer in a tutorial scenario anymore, like we were in Steggy Stream. So it's possible we're going to run into stuff that's way, way stronger than we are. So running away is always a viable option. You just got to keep that in mind. Interesting. Okay. Can you hear me, Marty? I can. Did you not? Does this not work right now? Oh, lame. Does this only work if I have... Oh, that's lame. Can you hear me now? Every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue Fade away, yeah, 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 yeah
fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Over the dead silence of the, the the carnage, everyone does notice a patches of slime all around. Not only the building, but smeared upon the walls, floor. Very strange. But as you get closer to the slime, the smell of rot gets worse. Oh, you pervert! Is this the slime, or is this the slime? Let me draw some. Yeah, draw slime. There's some smeared here. Smear oh. Is it showing black? There we go. Smeared all over. It's uh, Here within the rubble, there's clumps of slime. Uh, I think Macho Tar even stepped on some of it. Damn. Uh, it's... it's it stank. Um, just fills your nostrils. It's actually weird how it, the smell is so strong, but the citizens are like seem as unfazed by that. What is this shit? Is the guard captain still with us? Yes. He goes ahead and points to the. Uh, to the wreckage <laughs> where two guards are there uh, I, I need pulling that out sound a emoji. clean, yeah, flattened That's a good body. Idea. I need that. This is uh, bullshit. In guard, bullshit. guardsmen clothing. Bullshit. I need and that one. Titus sent me a bunch of sound effects. They give, a, a, they give a bit of a shake well, and says the guard captain isn't... Our bathroom. There's two more in there. Captain, do we know of anyone who survived the attack that we can talk to? Oh. Well, there's, uh... No, I... I'm not sure. The only people that have seen it are people that come in during the early morning. Um... You may be able to talk to some of the merchants that live with uh, the neighboring buildings, however, if they're willing to talk. Everyone seemed pretty shaken up with this attack. We've tried interrogating several, and they tight-lipped, all of them. Tight-lipped. I say we give it a try anyway. How about you and uh, Nicholas go off and see if you can't find a merchant to talk to while Galmuk and I poke around the ruins and see what we can find? That's fine. Uh, give me a perception check, all of you. Split the party? Seriously? Wait, is this like a scary movie where like they split up and all die? <laughs> That'd be awful. If it is, I'm the black chick, so I'm the one that's got to worry about. It. Oh, that's true. Just like in uh, Jason X. Was it Jason X? No, Freddy versus Jason. 
Um, I don't know how to roll. Uh, you bring up your character sheet on the, uh, the journal menu. Yeah. And then, uh, you just go to your, you go to the character sheet spot, go look for perception or whatever you, it is you want to, you're going to click on that and click submit. The pop-up box gives you the option of making it a public role so we all can see it or a private one just so the GM can see it. Um, so I, no, I don't click the checkbox. I, do I? On the name of the click. skill itself. Perception. Okay, I, I'm clicking it. Nothing's happening. Because the pop-up box is probably behind it. Move your character sheet. Oh. Does this bullshit there work for you? Uh, let me, let's hear it. Let me hear it. There we go. Yeah, I'm a fireman. Chris, notice uh, what looks to be a, a hobbling derelict going, peeking through one of the windows on the that house. That looks like, Not the house, it's a building on the right. Labeled cobblers. That sounds great, Revolt's gone. If you could get it like just the bullshit part. That seems to be the only uh, activity besides uh, two townsfolk that are making their way back inside. Right. Any other, guys, I'm curious, any other sound effects? What else can I do to this channel to help increase it? Why don't you Make check out that guys. cobbler's building over there? I think it's this one, right? Yes. You talking to me, Nikki? Yes. Down. So I roll... Did I have to roll a perception? Uh, I think it did already. Yeah, it says you roll. I rolled a 10, right? Oh, that was the thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it worked correctly. You uh, got an 11 and it's all. Yeah, and you're freely able to move your, or you should be able to. Little so there you go. Uh, the door is not locked. So you're able to walk right in. Why don't you let me go first there, uh, bald guy? And I tell, uh, Crispy to wait outside. Uh, that's... So upon going inside, uh, the cobbler shop, of course, like I said, is unopened. Uh, you just see shelves of shoes lining the walls, um, you know, on the counter, some shoemaking tools, but a massive buildup of dust outside of the footsteps that are circling around. Uh, you do notice light footsteps going up the stairs. Uh, all right, you can lead us this time. Was that me? Yeah. Let's get up these stairs and check some stuff out. Do I roll then? Nah. I mean, you can. <laughs> you want to check some? Uh, you can left click uh, on your bowl character on the screen and move it around. Is up the is up the stairs like here ish? No, the stairs are right here. Oh, going down. Uh, scroll down a bit. There's. All right, we're going upstairs. Uh, going up the stairs, you uh, you hear the more frantic footsteps, uh, and you hear a, a old voice call to you from the corner of the room. Hey, what the hell are you doing in here in my? House? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and on the corner of the room, you do see a disheveled man uh, grasping um, grasping a small box in his hand with a knife as well. Hold on there, old timer. We don't mean you any harm. There's a 
lot of dead people around here. We want to try and stop it. We need to ask you guys a few questions. Ain't nothing to ask me. It wasn't me. You know what it was? It was that. It was the invisible ones. Back. Now, uh, y'all can go ahead and leave me to my dude. <laughs> you sure you don't want to go somewhere safer? Oh, that's plenty safe. This is my house, my home, my abode. Can you tell us yeah. any more about these invisible folk? Oh, yeah, they come and they, they lay it out. It's all there. Oh, city's playing with the invisible ones. But I can see them. I can see them sometimes with this right here. But y'all can go on and get the hell out of here. I ain't sharing this with any of Now, Nick, if he can see things with this thing he has, and if we were looking to kill said things, how can we kill said thing, Mr. Man? Good initiative, bad judgment. Let's not talk about killing in front of the scared old. You gotta work on your public relations, big guy. I'm a six foot two dude who's a bull who eats people. He talks about I know. Look We're not gonna get very far if everybody's trying to hunt us down because we killed everyone that came across our paths now. So Old timer, how about we give you some more money for that item that lets you see? Yeah, now I like me some money. And this is about near two hundred gold worth of uh, of herb. But uh, maybe y'all want to join me and smoking it. He starts, uh, whole body starts rattling a little bit as he, uh, stands up, you know, shaking, still clasping onto the, to the box, uh, wiggling his knife. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, detect magic on the area just to see if he's hallucinating or if it's actually guess of arcade property. Yeah. Good call. Does this end badly? I have no idea. King Cory, thank you much for the follow. How's <laughs> quarantine for you? Woo! A little bit of Ric Flair! Exclamation point W O O. Oh, it doesn't auto roll the detect <gasps> magic. Oh, no. How's it quarantine for you, King Cory? You don't sense anything. Not magical, but, well, you do sense a hint of magic, but it isn't the magic that you were accustomed to, uh, and nothing arcane, demonic, uh, that sort of stuff. It's strange. I'll send a bit of a shiver up your spine. All right, so he does have something with some kind of magical properties, and he's just not waking up. Or he could be, I guess. How much gold did we get in the beginning of this? About 9,000. Okay, so... Uh, the mayor... The mayor gave y'all uh, another 500... Get those nerds! 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 Well... So we could... We could pay our way out of this. Can't we still smoke that herb, too? Uh, I think that's how we see the invisibles. All right. All right I'll give 100 if you give 100. Deal. All right, old timer. Here's your book. Uh, you just toss it over what? <laughs> uh, he. I guess I'll just kind of hold it up and say, "Okay, here we have two hundred counted out in front of." Me. <laughs> kind of wait for him to toss it to us again. Preferably not with the knife pointed at us. 
he uh, gets a little shaky. Yeah. Mm, uh, uh, okay. Uh, goes ahead and starts walking towards y'all. Still kind of rattling. Knife still pointed at y'all, but he holds the box out. Uh, he's within a couple feet of y'all. I like two feet. You'll be able to. You'll be able to grab it at arm's length. Okay. I'll grab it. Uh, upon grabbing it, he he continues to grab it. Uh, to, he doesn't want to let go, but he's just there, kind of smiling at you. A uh, couple of teeth missing, you know, the whole uh, weird derelict thing. Uh. And you notice that his begins sweating, and the smell of the much like the tar outside the outside in the uh, in the streets, <laughs> the smell of that begins emitting from this guy. This don't sound right. I have Crispy come <laughs> up and by force take the rest of the box. The uh, as Crispy's coming up, he gets spooked and attempts to throw the uh, his knife at at a uh, poor little Crispy. Let's see if I can bring up that. Well, actually, I could just roll it in real life. Throw the dice. That'd be much faster. X, do you have roll twenty? Actually, if you have access to roll twenty. We just started the class. Sorry, I think I cleaned this area. I had dice in hand. I don't know what happened to me. Where's the dice? There's a roll for you. <laughs> That's probably what it would be. Balloon. Yeah, so he completely misses poor Crispy. Knife clings onto the wall, and uh, you said you took the you took the uh, the box. Yeah, and I'll kind of toss the gold over to his side of the room. The dude starts freaking out, cackling. Oh, y'all are gonna see him now! As the guy starts eating, or well, attempting to swallow the coins one at a time. That just seems like a waste of money, man. If I ate him, it'd be like eating money. Yep, with that, I turn around and walk back down the stairs. I'm not going to worry about eating. <laughs> Let the bull man deal with Let the cannibals talk about them. You got you to leave them alone, or... Macho yep. Tar, you're gonna give him the business. I'm going with Nicholas. I just like to scare the people. The guy doesn't look scared. He's a little off, but you have what's you have luck. Yeah, what we came for. I'm following Nick. Uh, on the other side, y'all were gonna investigate the room. Chris and Gelma. Well, yeah, well, roll 20 is what we're playing it on right now. I'm a Minotaur. Her head's the head. Investigating the rebel. Probably check out. Have you played on roll 20 before, X? Yeah. Uh, of course, you y'all notice the 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 heavy damage. Left side sludge. Uh, inside the rubble, you see uh, several bodies. Two bodies, to be exact. Um, Rattle the bodies for him. One seems to have its skin completely peeled clean off. The other is twisted. <laughs> completely <laughs> just oh. twisted, contorted. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you want to try to do some kind of check or survival check to identify uh, any... Uh, Details. Yeah, Let, let's do a survival check. I think. 
Not that I'm particularly skilled in that. Uh, you notice that uh, it probably hurt the hell out of whoever did like this. Thank God, you see this guy? He's skidding like a damn chicken. I'm sorry, I'm barely paying attention because I my character sheet got like it got like reset. I'm trying to figure out how to get it correct again. What's happening? We're investigating this smashed building with uh, this dude who had his, all of his skin ripped off. Neat. Uh, you might want to refresh the page because that's what's happening when we were at cheat. It was it like reset and then didn't want to update. And then when we both refreshed it, it fixed it. It can refresh as well. say to myself, you know, quietly, I have no earthly idea what could have done this. I didn't even know this was possible. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty gruesome because you also notice on the floor next to the person, uh, a sword similar to the guardsman swords, uh, you know, just a basic, uh, broadsword, but that too is twisted in the same manner that the person is twisted. I turn and ask the guard captain, and all the damage is localized to this area. There's no trail of destruction to or from. No, it's as if the whatever caused this appeared, did all of this, and simply disappeared. Leaving behind only this this sludge, this uh, slime. Uh, Interesting. It, is, it has happened not only here, but in two other... Though the damage wasn't bad as this, there were other bodies of fellow guardsmen, but they've been taken. These two here, I can identify as townspeople that anyone knows. Possibly um, homeless here. Right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to follow the trail of the slime since that seems to be the only thing that's left behind and see where it ends in both directions. Raise Brutus! Brutus dog! It seems just kind of Let random. me go grab my dog. It smeared, the concentration Nick, of it is near the wants, bodies. I'm in here with like you. I said, it's, another, it's on the walls, go my dog. the floor. Uh, besides that, it doesn't seem to be centralized, uh, or not centralized, it doesn't seem to be trailing. It seems as if it was purposefully smeared. Huh. There's no conventional way to track it using. Well, not, not completely. Um, give me a perception check. Uh, both Galmuk and. Or oh, actually, y'all left the ta the cobbler shop, right? Or right, everybody give a perception check. We're going to go get Brutus, so he'll be right back. Okay. Oh my goodness, all of you. Except Nicholas, who's uh, probably not uh, looking up. Uh, oh, I get a roll for Crispy, too, since the oh, way yeah, I yeah. understood the right. rules is he's essentially another player, but yeah. he's my familiar thing, so everything I do, he does, too. Yeah, exactly, and everything he sees you technically... Like twins! So if you want to simplify things and just leave, like, any 
ability rolls that I'm doing just to me. Just yeah, that's fine. Uh, so everybody sees. Uh, looking up, the smell seems to be getting worse. Rain continues to drop from earlier from the clouds coming in. It's just sprinkling now, uh, but somehow it's making the smell that much almost stomach churning. But upon looking up at the building, you see completely separate from the smears on the walls and the lower area uh, about the third story of the of the building, you, you all notice a huge spiral shaped smear. But it is made with both blood and slime. Ew. And of course, it begins running, uh, running down the wall, due to the rain. It could be worse. Could be poop. It could be poop. Oh, look what for if a... the slime is poop? Damn it. Look... Now we got poop slime. I look for a dry piece of wood, and take a piece mm -hmm. of chalk and draw the symbol. So that we can okay. reference it later. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Y'all can also make knowledge checks. I think it's arcane or religion. Y'all are able to, if y'all added that to y'all thing. Yeah, we don't know if it's arcane or religion yet, so probably both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll leave that to the experts. Well, I didn't get very well with that. Because mm -hmm. it, it, it looks just as random as the... Well, it looks less random. Smears across this entire town. However, it's different in that it's specifically spiraling. With, you know, bits, splotches. But this is the only thing written not only with slime, but smeared with blood as well. So you do feel it is a sign of something. It doesn't say anything, though, right? Uh, as far as y'all know, no. Uh, but of course, you're welcome to do some kind of knowledge check. Maybe something will click. Maybe knowledge local. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's right. What about planer? Yeah, as well. All right, central. Uh, oh, excuse me. Should I go for a planer roll instead of Americana, or is Dark Affair? Oh no, you can you can make those checks. Uh... Uh, your Eidolon begins uh, sending you a bit of otherworldly knowledge that may help you. As you begin to realize, put people together of uh, planar and arcane knowledge that it is uh, specifically a symbol related to portals of the dark tapestry, which houses the ancient gods of old cults. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hey guys, we're dealing with uh, Mormon portals over here. The who and the what now? Ancient evil cult. Joy. This is why I don't worship any gods. They're all terrible. I mean... With that can role, I would I go... history do anything? Yeah, you can. See what you know. Would I be able to tell if it's an active portal or just a marker that it's? Uh, oh, tell I mean, me what, Hex. You, I mean, you tell can me do what. Tech... Help me out. What would? I'm Earlier, trying to figure out what this portal it's a cantrip, thing. So I go ahead and do that. Yeah. So I'm seeing uh, what my options are. I've never played this. You don't once. detect any more magic than. Uh, when you had done it on the derelict, you feel the exact same presence. There is some form of magical energy. You you feel it as though it is more linked to the information you got from your Eidolon. This is from um, this is another other planar. 
but as far as uh, something that would give a major feel, like a portal or something, uh, the magic is not... You don't feel anything strong enough to emit that kind of um, aura. Alright. Ask what knowledge dungeoneering is? Uh, it's like you would do a roll on it to do like uh, well, any kind of dungeon. If you do it right now, it would check the kind of knowledge that you have gained from dungeoneering. Like, um, well, technically, since you're a minotaur, wouldn't you know a thing or two about? <laughs> Isn't that ingrained in your DNA? Your thing popped out of me. What? I Dungeoneering is ingrained into a minotaur's DNA. Oh, I, I was talking about like you know since the minotaur, the the whole maze thing. Wouldn't that be ingrained in your DNA? So technically, you would have knowledge of certain of dungeons. Uh, right? I think technical. Well, that's what the Greeks said, right? The minotaur's Greek. They're yes. Greek. No, yeah. Greek. That's Greek. They're Greek. So you could do a roll, see if, see what you think on seeing this uh, symbol. I'm trying to decide if uh, knowledge for in dungeoneering or knowledge in history make better results to figure out what this symbol is. Any thoughts, boys? <laughs> and lady? I'd say whichever one's higher. Yep. Whichever one's higher. Yeah, because it because like what it would work is you're staring. Staring at something, you're trying to figure. So, I mean, whatever pops into your head first, that would be the higher. Technically, in real life, would be the higher roll. So, in this instance, you would roll both, and then whatever's higher, that's what pops in your Macho Tar's head first. Ah, okay. So I roll. Rage. Uh, yeah. Is it even my turn, or am I just like speaking on turn and just make shit up? There's no turn right now. Okay. Right. Out, outside of combats, it's just, you know, whoever's talking at the moment, and then as soon as we shut up, someone else can jump. Okay. But I'm not screwing anything up by rolling and seeing what pops in this guy's head, right? Nah. No. Alright, let's try this tree. Oh, Click to drag dice, bada boom. Fifteen. Oh, you get a negative two. Okay. Oof. I got negative ten. That says fifteen. You are very smarty. Sure. And then dungeoneering. So, uh, it, it does come to mind. You remember the uh, five. <laughs> so history worked out better. I think, right? <laughs> Besides remembering one. Uh, Entire region uh, is known. the The entire country is known for its uh, supernatural lores, many battles, many uh, necromatic energies. You also remember that this town was founded upon several. Uh, what do you call it? You know, over several other uh, invaders, and over time, that's why it's called the Big Hill. But what you the main thing you remember is the first oh, settlement of the of the hill when it was just you know flat. It was uh, it was a center of cultists. So you don't remember what kind. So I should roll like knowledge religion because of the. No, uh, yeah, you could. Again, because it's like come Salt Lake your City. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right? You told the whole Mormon. Mm hmm. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. I got a 17. Uh, thinking a little harder, you realize it's the cults. You know, 5,000 years ago, the cults were. Well, from what you've heard, the cults were very related to what. Uh, was usually known as for, forbidden gods, lost ancient gods that 
predate the modern gods. Super Duo was some real boomers here. That Hella boomers! Invisible. Hell, they, yeah, apparently. If they're just coming and going. What is, what is, hey, uh, Nick, what is in that box that we purchased? That weed stuff that the guy was apparently freaking out over, but willing to part with. I hand it over to Chris and see if uh, her or Galmuk recognize it at all or are interested in it. You, you bought a box of weeds? How much did you pay for? Too much. But eh, it's just my okay. Hundred each. But so it's herbs. So this what smoking this herb won't make us look at this little symbol any different. Well, boys. Uh, uh, are you a rogue? Don't rogues have uh... don't they have something to detect poison or something? I think I'm thinking of another class. The poisoner subclass of rogue does because they're more. It's more like an alchemist that has rogue-like yeah. traits. But yeah, I, I did right. not go with that one. Um, but I could do all my knowledge checks are basically the same except for dungeoneering. Um, If it had some sort of negative effect, or if it was a poison or something that could have been used in a trap, that would fall under dungeoneering. So I'm going to roll that knowledge. Yeah. Seventeen. Uh, you look at it for a little while and realize it's just uh, flay leaf. Pretty standard stuff. It's like um, we'll right it's, I mean, it's, it's going to trip you out. It's like a mix of marijuana and, and shrooms. God damn it! Nothing, nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> you you bought some hallucinogenic plants, but they don't have any special magical properties, as far as I'm aware. But the crazy guy so, said they made you see things. So if we took a token oh. look at this thing, it would it help us look around this room of ours? Oh, why don't you? Know. Why don't you give it a try, Macho Talk? That's all you. I don't have anything to roll it in, so good luck. I will advise against this because we need to be at our toes. So if you're stoned out of your gourd, you're not going to be much help. Uh, if you're going to take it, uh, I need a fortitude check. <laughs> What's a fortitude? Uh, you just click fortitude. Fortitude so, is how uh, how you how your body resists it. Yeah, it's your physical toughness, your resistance to disease, poisons, etc. There's three types of save. There's fortitude, which is what we just described. Reflex, which is your ability to get out of the way of danger. And will, which is your ability to resist like mind control magic and stuff like that. So if I roll for fortitude, it tells me how messed up I'll get? Or how messed up you won't get. I prefer that, because I want to make sure this, this this little symbol has a something, some sort of meaning. Anybody else have any other ideas besides get crazy and look at this thing in a whole new world? Is there more people to interview that have seen these said invisibles? Yeah, was there anyone else around? Instead of just... Uh, the, yeah, the guards are just still trying to clean up the area. Just corpses. Mm-hmm. Which were all killed in a different way. Yes. One, they pulled all the skin off. Another one, they twisted it around like a corkscrew. Another one was flattened. Yep, clean flattened, like... um. 
like the Looney Tunes when they get run over with the with the rollers. Of course, a lot, lot more. Um, I'd like squeezing a ketchup pack. Which I have right here in my hand. Squeeze it, show us. So if all the other people that to speak to are are looking like ketchup packets, does anybody have any other oh. solutions or suggestions besides hit this and look or what? I mean, we know what or who they are, but we don't know how long it's been since they've been here. We don't know if they're still here, especially if they're talking about invisible things. Um, I would guess and suggest we kind of stick together and see if we can suss. Okay, where to then? Hey, you ain't smoking anything, right? Not yet. Why don't we uh, stow that crate of hallucinogens up? Maybe we can find a use for them later. I can hold my high. I'm okay with that. Right, but do you want to be carrying around the box with you everywhere? I'm a minotaur, aren't I big as shit? Yeah, but you still only have two hands. I'll put it in the cart. The cart's packed up with the things. That's true. And the donkeys and the horse? Leslie and Jack. Yeah, that's right. And Tori. Yeah, if you guys want to go exploring, let's go exploring. We can always come back to this room and light up if we can't find anything. I'm all about looking for trouble. Uh, you, be, you begin to hear stomping footsteps where the old man was. Which then followed by him bursting through the door. Uh, still, still, uh, well, actually, now he's naked. Scream. Ah, I gotta get it now. Mm -mm. Coins coming out of his mouth as he starts running towards the opposite end where the rubble is. Make his way. Where is he? Makes his way clean across now. over here. <laughs> right? The, now all the, all this stuff happens. You're 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 my Obi Wan, Stags. Uh, he can't see what he's doing, but I'm sure it's, he's up to no good. I'm going to uh, crouch real low and sneak in behind him and see what he's. Of course, the the place is completely. Um, it's just in disarray. The whole place. He seems to be trying to peel flesh off of the flattened body, but not eating it. He's just peeling at it, kind of like grunting and laughing. Uh, the smells gotten worse. Well, actually, you weren't there when he started smelling, but dude reeks of, like, a multiplied slime. Huh. This guy smells like the slime. Wait a minute. Maybe this is the guy. And this would explain different ways of bodies being found. This guy Emotion. I motion the others over. Can they see him where Chris is? Yeah, there's a window there. 
well, it's broken, but <laughs> he can see him. He doesn't seem to care. He's just peeling parts of the flattened body off. He can't be the source, but the way he uh, might be. Say, so speaking thing it. that, that you, <laughs> it sounds like gibberish. Is this, the guy you, is this the guy you got that stuff from? Yep. So if I why smoke did, this, am I going to look like that? Why does he smell like the slime on the ground? I don't see any of it on him, but he reeks of the stuff. What up, nerd? What up, pork chop? Trying to you anyway, we should probably restrain him. Give that person some dignity, or that corpse some dignity. <sighs> Move into the room and try and, you know, pull him back from the corpse that he's mm -hmm. flaying? Mm -hmm. Make a reflex roll. He tosses a fat loogie with a coin. There's there's a there's a coin in the loogie. Spits it at you. Uh, manages to miss, and then starts hauling ass to the uh, to the uh, stairs that lead downwards. I'm curious. Let's follow this guy. I'm gonna regret this. Follow him down the stairs. Uh, in I'm this new doing... room. Yeah, I'm still okay. here. Yeah. Uh, he's you know, there in the room, kind of like sniffing I, around. Not my sniffing, thing but he's is fighting. So if I get messed up while fighting, I could kill everybody. Uh, the room looks. Uh, as if it was ransacked, but you all notice that there's no slime in this room. Just kind of upturned couches, uh, bookshelves, plenty of books thrown all over the place. Uh, but the smell, the smell is getting worse. It's like we're getting closer and closer to the source. Move into the room. find that smell so he's there this dude's there still kind of spazzing and can start staring at a at the door well there's a door there uh, just closed clearly stares at it for the longest time then starts running his head to it Door doesn't budge, and he continues to do so. Probably gonna break his neck or something. <laughs> Would you mind restraining him, and then we can check out what's behind that? Macho talk. Can I roll something then? Where's the, uh, where's say the what you would like to do. Roll? There's one more. You roll. Combat maneuver. Okay, you're going to click where it says CMB. That's combat maneuver. So you get Because you're trying to grapple him, right? Essentially. Oh shit, I got a freaking two. I didn't even smoke and I got a two. Uh, you would have grabbed him, but for some reason he he himself, uh, wet, he, horrible smell, makes him extra slippery as he continues to try to just bang his head against the door. Screaming more things you don't understand. Look at that! Intruding cabal! We open the door. I'll try opening the door. I said we try opening this door and follow this guy and see what he's doing. All right, you try to distract him and I'll open the door. Okay. 
Can I like grab the coins that he's been spitting out and hear oh, you pocket them? Crazy, crazy guy. Get her money back. Yeah, there's a there's the one he spat like clean spat at Chris earlier. Hey, crazy guy, look shiny objects. He tries to charge at the door again. All right, Gamma, we need to get that door open. I'm gonna open the door. Uh, the door's locked. Uh, sure, if you want to do a... Oh yeah, you're a rogue. You can do the uh, lock picking. I can Somebody open that, wants... but I can't do it while he's trying to bash himself into the door. Uh, I see your predicament. Um, Crispy just walks over, punch. Alright, roll an attack. Way better than I did. Oh, he punches the shit out this, this idiot. Straight to the wall. Where he stays, uh, not, not, well, I was gonna say sedated, but he's not calm, he's still yelling obscenities, but his body's nearly twitching at the limbs. Uh, but he's taking care of me, he ain't moving. Good enough for me. You get that door now? Alright, hold on. First, I'm gonna check the lock to see if there's anything nefarious and trapped. Because no one needs to be picking a lock and then have a poison needle poke him in the eye. Or... Ah, I see you've been here a time or two. Rogue adds half her level to perception check. Uh, you find no physical traps, but upon inspecting the inside, faint glowing rune. So there may be a trap, but it's magical. Great. Does Do any of you know Dispel Magic? Or can you tell me what the rune on the inside of that is? Um, I'm going to detect magic for a couple of rounds to get the exact information. If he can't see inside, I draw the rune on the ground with a piece of chalk. Oh, wait, it's in line of sight, so can I look through the keyhole and detect magic? Mm. Well, that's what Chris did. It didn't set anything off. So. But to detect magic to get an idea of... Yeah, so you could peek in there. Have a look. You do detect that it is... That there is a... It's a... Possibly a trap. It's trigger. It's a trigger. All right. Yeah, there's a trap on the other side. See. On the other side. Interesting. Well, let's let's disable that shell. That's what you meant, right? Like the lock wasn't trapped, but yeah. there's something on the other side that's. Yeah, which is triggered with the lock. Well, I guess it would still be a trap. <laughs> okay, uh, so 13 plus half my rogue level. Uh, does this system round up or down? I can't remember. Down. Okay, so 15, disable device. Actually, 17, because I used my thieves' tools. Oh, yeah. Very nice. You were able to remove the whole door handle. Seeing as how this wood looks about... It, as dilapidated as the door looks, very... Uh, 
the the door mechanism or whatever. What are those called? The whole door? It's just a door handle, right? The, the, handle. the latch. Would it be attached with the latch? Because I think latch, I think of those uh, the the manual ones. But it's not one of those. It's just you know, like like modern ones where you just stick the you stick the key in, you kind of wiggle it around. Yeah. It's one of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it, instead of you know disabling it, I just remove the whole mechanism so the door mm -hmm. can open. Yeah, that I. Yep, you manage to get the door open. Just kind of unlatches, opens, and uh, it seems to just be a bedroom. Of course, in similar fashion that there's, it's just been looted. Apparently, just thrown, thrown about furniture. Though some of the chairs and uh, cabinets are splintered, you know, broken, smashed, and one streak of sludge across the wall. Just. <laughs> uh, a which snail of course, trail. <laughs> yes, exactly. I was about to say snail trail. As the slime leads to what was a hidden passage on the floor. Aha. Uh -huh. And from behind you, you, uh, you begin hearing a humming from the derelict. <laughs> and from his body bursts forth uh, about cat-sized worms. About four of them. Dude, he's thirsty. And they begin slithering towards you. Gross. In one moment. Would they be worms? Oh, this is a good one. This is a good picture. Four of them. Like, we couldn't we go down this passageway and shut the door behind us so they can't get us? We're going down this passageway anyway. Unless you want to kill them. Well, you have to reattach the the door handle since you removed it. Yeah, let's just kill them. Exit quiz. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative since y'all think it'll sneak attack. <laughs> gross, gross, gross. Oh, really? Which one are we rolling? Uh, initiative. It might not be on the. I oh, know it should be. I see it. I got a thirteen.
No, oh, yeah, they're. Hex, yeah. you say you're getting Why isn't on your it computer, showing? or your computer can't bring up browsers? Yeah. All right, I'm back. Yeah, it's just it's just not adding Nicholas, but that's fine. It's only four players. Four players, four. And these worms are dripping some of the blood from their mouth. Uh, but Chris goes first. Long rise. You do it on a phone, so maybe? Many. Or do we want to skip Chris and go to Nicholas? Apple, you hear? He stepped down. Well, I heard two bureau bags. Well, I mean, I will take my turn for Crispy. Move him up there. He's going to attack the one. So the All right. Okay, sorry about that. Had to slip over for a second. Gotcha, X, gotcha. Oh, what are these dice? Mm -hmm. So, are you familiar yep, with yep, one of them? Yeah, you know, um, the the it's just a massive IRL. Splatters the little bastard, getting some of the goop on, uh, on y'all. Some of the slime. The smell is so pungent as it lands, some of it lands on fortitude checks from y'all to prevent from vomiting. From Chris and the macho, the macho tar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's gone. You're able to hold back, back the, 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 the puke. puke. Yeah, I mean, it, it sucks. sucks. I don't know if you want to wipe it off. None on your, your mouth. mouth. This is time. I need to roll fortitude, right? Yeah. Where is fortitude again? It's just a uh, base attack mode. Got it. I'm on the left hand side, side of it. Sixteen. Oh, jeez. Oh, the macho tar doesn't, doesn't care about the. He's, he's unfazed. unfazed. He, he smelled, smelled it all before. before. Doesn't That's sicken him at all. all. Smells like seasoning. Uh, if we're not to turn, I'll just shoot the lower left. Type and scene, how you doing? This macho tour, I've been, yeah. been gone too long. You have I'm type and scene, tell me what's it's been it's going on with you. Dead. She's dead. How is quarantine? How many days of quarantine have you been in? Why is it all in two Uh, oh, you, you hit, hit the one in the one back. back. It seems you're not, you're not sure, sure that it's dead, it's still, still wiggling. Tell them, Tell them places, it's no longer making me. This one near the front uh, attempts to take a bite of your leg, Chris. Okay, David, this looks great. Mm, this is. What's your AC? Nothing. Eighteen. Yeah, yeah, no, it completely missed. You're, it ain't. You're too quick, nimble. This worm, it's slow, disgusting. It does. I'm wondering how that would work and what we got going on right now. Uh, who's that? The Macho Tar. What do I need to do? Roll. Oh, my, my thing wasn't up front. What do I need to do? I need to roll. Uh, what are you going to do? There's two, or seemingly two, of these worm things left. One is impaled on the. The other one is, um, there's not much of it left. It's just bits. 
and squished him, all right? Well, I'd like to kill him too, if everyone, I'm not gonna, don't leave me out of the killing, brothers. I wanna stop me some worms too. Right, so you get a move to get in range of one of the two living ones. And it's this one that's still alive, and this one. So you can move here, here, or here, and then do your... Uh, a Bang. And then do which one? Alright, um... You got your great axe. For your weapon attacks, just click on Great Act. Uh, scroll you, back down. You can stomp on it for an unarmed attack. Yeah, can but I, I don't just think like it... squish its little. You don't think it'll kill it? Uh, you can draw your weapon and do a single attack all in one turn. Can't I just squish this little worm? Why would you want to get it on you when you can use an axe? Wow. Good call, good call. Oh, but it doesn't phase me. It didn't phase you that time. Okay, good point. Uh, great axe. Public roll. Whoa, I don't know what it rolled. It rolled all that. I don't know what it rolled. What is that? 11, did 11. Good. I'm doing good. Take that, worms. We're gonna stomp on the little worm with my axe. Uh, much like with Crispy, the uh, that worm gets uh, just cleaved. How did you cleave it? Up or down or side to side? Sweep. Did you wax did you... on or wax off? There you go. I waxed down so I could split it in half. The long ways, by the way. But you did it with such great force that one of the pieces flies up in the air. Crispy. I'm getting some sludge on it. ID, what is up? We're playing some Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm a man tar. And this you can't worm tell, begins. I just squished a big ass worm. After that, this worm. That's right. Uh, begins trying to make its way with my hat. Chris. To take a lunge at it, take a bite, take another bite. Nope. Nothing, nothing this time. ID, how was your stream? You were just so streaming right before Chris this, yes? Again, or is Galmuk back? I'm here. Oh, yeah. I'm also script for this, too. <clears throat> Why well, didn't Chris go first? Oh, yeah, Chris is... Yeah, I had to step away for a second. Yeah. But Galma can take his turn if he wants. We can just say I... <clears throat> took a while fiddling with my crossbow. All right. Hey, Galma, do you want to stop fiddling with your crossbow and join in on this worm stoppage? I'm not... I'm not fiddling. I don't have a crossbow to fiddle with. That wasn't me. <clears throat> Quit on your Go ride, Leslie. Alright, fine. I'll do that. Alright, so which ones are left? Just one. One worm. That one. Oh, one worm. One okay. trio, thank you for the follow! <laughs> how is your quarantine? Tell me how you're doing with it. Where are you out of, Thrill? That's the wrong base attack bonus. The base attack bonus is not one. Uh, still Warzone ID? Where do I put it? Okay, now how do I roll to attack? Uh, same thing as you would with uh, skill checks. You just click where you got your... Or if you had put in weapons and stuff like that, you would... How do I change my basic attack bonus? It's still set to 1, and that's wrong. I just added in a miscellaneous modifier to set it to the correct look. No. Okay, I'll just do that for now then. Oof, that's bad. 
Do you have anything else besides a mobile? Like, I saw you playing on your tablet before. Or yeah, ID. I rolled it too. Do you have a console at all? <clears throat> Does a 10 hit one of these? Like, could we co-stream something? Wait, what'd you, what'd you hit it with? You punched it? No, I hit with my chain. With oh, my okay, chain. yeah, you just, uh, you managed to, st uh, well, when you hit it, it just stops moving completely. You didn't make oh, a okay. mess. Guess you hit it on the clean spot, just thunk. Ah, neat. The one that was crossbow down, um, tears away from the crossbows, uh, well, from the crossbow, and starts making its way, eating the bits of the first one killed. These are... And slowly you notice it's getting bigger. Idea of you. Uh, then it goes ahead and eats the piece that had slipped off of Crispy from the big cleave Macho Tor did. Is this thing just eating his friends and getting bigger, boys? Don't get any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what's happening. It starts eating the second half of the one that was cleaved. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all are gonna do anything while it's uh, it's doing this. Not quick, but not. Yeah, it's kind of slow about it. Yeah, you know, just staring at it. Would I would I get an attack of opportunity? Yeah, as it slithers away from you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I did. What I was asking was, uh, you got an eleven is, to hit. If you played any Dead by Daylight uh, or anything you on your slash PC. at it. Uh, you're able to stop its movement. It seems to. I mean, like I said, it got big. I mean, or you cut it open. Kind of still flapping around, but it's no longer moving. Or PC games, because I think I might. I want to buy Predator coming up, but I want to buy a Predator on a place. Unlike the one that got However, hit with the chain, which begins slowly slithering toward. So I'm kind of tempted to buy it on the, the afflicted PC. one. Kill it, but I don't play very many PC games before. Actually, I think it's my turn next anyway. Oops. Yeah. I thought I moved them out. <laughs> Have you ever played Dead by Daylight ID? It's not shaking. That hit, y'all don't... It makes its way to the thing. To the other one. Oh. But a Galmuk has an attack of opportunity. Yay! Actually, I well, I technically have more than one. <laughs> yeah. That's give me, give me just a second. Yeah. You look you good, boy. Ah, dang it! Sorry, just trying to do too good. many things at the same time. <clears throat> no, but don't laugh through. And my attack of opportunity is just a, a, an so attack. Yeah. It. I do. Oh, a single yeah. attack, yeah. Uh, well, Predator is super fun. Oh! Because there's four people against one person. That's and right. It's, well, it's well, much like Call of Duty, where the four people have it to is. carry out chain missions. Again. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, have one chain. Two. Yeah, 2d4 plus and, three. Like, kill AI. Oh, yeah, that one splatters. Well, there's also it. that one person who's the Predator that could be invisible, it. come up and, like, slash the shit yeah, out. I forget what the Jagged Hooks does. And your goal is to finish your objective and escape. Somewhere. Yeah, the predator kills you. But yeah, it's got jagged hooks, so, if you're so a does fan like extra of first person shooters, which it seems like you are. Yeah, that's right. On a, on a, a good one to look at. It, if you're uh, a predator, seems that these I'm worms are no longer. Sure. I just don't know if it's gonna be a PS4 or PS4. Oh, that's right. Attaboy. boy. <clears throat> no longer moving, but from the corpse of the derelict begins twisting itself emitting like a kind of smoke from the body it begins twisting itself to a fine not a fine uh like a flesh tentacle you're able to hear the bones crackling and everything it 
begins lashing out at y'all. Let me a little token. You know what, ID? I actually never saw Predator. Until macho that. Uh huh. Of course it would be. That's tempting. Anybody opposed to me slapping this thing with my axe? The slap away. Slap it away. Slap it away! Slap it away! What all those said? Oh god. Oh yeah. One of them was an 18. I thought this did the math for you. Yeah, yeah it does the math. So what is... Yeah. Yeah, what is an 18? Why is he... Is it showing just as an 8? Yeah. Mine was an 18. Yeah, mine was an yeah, 18. That's... Yeah, I'm, showing I'm not using a Dell computer. Um, I'm using a computer that's using Windows. No, no matter, it it is on the 18th. It hits. Uh, you so it's a window capture. You take a big chunk of it off, uh, but the flesh begins kind of warping, and bubbling. Uh, where you cut it open, it splits into two more tentacles, flesh tentacles. Anybody else ain't got bright, bright ideas here? Anybody have magic or something? Magic ain't my bag. Got a magic weapon. Oh no, and your mage walked out for a bit. Burn this sucker. Y'all can try to burn it down. Burn it down. <laughs> That's exactly what I was waiting for. Uh, Steggy says that Crispy attacks. He get plus 10 to hit. So he rolls a d20. The 13. Uh, Crispy uh, does take a s swing at it, uh, but likewise, it just kind of makes a big blotchy mess, but the tentacle still isn't, it's not letting up. It's still just swinging around. Uh, well, now it's three tentacles coming from the base of where it seems to be Queen Jasmine, spreading. thank you much the flesh for that. and the slime oh, seems oh. to be spreading on the from the base of the tentacle creature. My name is Martin uh, the South. It attempts to take known in the wrestling uh, world as Martin the Mom. It attempts to take hold of We're playing Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm a Minotaur. Um, How is quarantine here. for you? Oh no, it, yeah, you're too strong. It, it grabs the monster like animal. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Alicia, can you do a display capture? So, who is next? Like, are you on a computer, or what are you streaming your OBS on? When it comes to set Twitch streams, I think those would help you better to post. So, who's next? Uh, Chris or Galma? Uh, -huh. uh, I agree. Stream uh, has a lot we, of great tools. Are we at well. the top of the order again? Yeah. Okay, then I'm up. I would use YouTube a lot. That's how I learned about okay. my streaming stuff. Um, um, and then if you're see. streaming, I think I'm close enough. I can just swing. Do a window capture to show what show let's people what you here. want them to show you. Like I'm showing right now, people the game. Oof. Okay, so the first kookery, the magic but one. I can help with any questions uh, next time I head off on the stream. The keen one rolls a 15, yes, which is okay, a actually a critical capture. threat. It's on the middle. Hit the um, plus sign. That's right. Go to window capture. So let's 
and then roll that one again to see, see if I confirm, which it's an even the, higher that, number. That game is. Yep. Depending on what game it is. And so it did. Uh, 14. Yep. So 14, which would be times two. 14, so 20, 20, 28. 28 damage. And the other one, I got a four, so I missed terribly. Yeah, the offhand seems to not do nothing. No, it does react to the strike of the uh, of the keen kukri. Uh, you may you can manage to completely lop one of the tentacles, but upon lopping it off, it sprays everyone in the face with well, it sprays the entire room with uh, a geyser of slime. So I need everyone to make a fortitude check and Macho Tar and Chris need to make will saves. All right, I got a 13 for the fortitude. All right, can you do a uh, willpower roll now? Yeah, now the other sick and the other fine. Oh boy. Oh, that sucks. I got a three. For yeah, I got, a t I, got, I got a two for my will. It's even worse. Yep, Galma. Make a will save. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. That should be a... Fine, be that way. No, not a two, a one. Not a two, a one. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it tries to... Oh, does it okay. pop up when you do a Windows yeah. capture, Alicia? Yeah. Intellect devours. Hello, Hex. Well, I'm learning this. I'm actually this is kind uh, of fun. I'm this, like I said, y'all are <laughs> bathed in the. Yes, my podcast is fit. All of you begin. Oh, shit, I got text on. Almost as if time's slowing down. You start feeling funky, and uh, colors begin warping, and the walls begin to look like mirrors. But, or like paintings of yourself on the wall. You still see the tentacle, but the tentacle looks like it's just solidified, standing upright. Galbuck fear feels as if his hairs are on. Chris begins feeling the, uh, you know, that weird feeling when you're, uh, you know, on your uh, arm or leg is a that was tingly. Yeah, it's on your tongue and eyes. <laughs> and the uh, <laughs> and the great uh, the great macho tar Gosh. over there uh, looks down on his hands, and they look like they like they what cut out as if they have mittens on. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you also see upside down. But you're right side up. You feel right side up. Maybe you feel upside down. Or you're seeing right side up. And I'm getting this from the spray that spread all over my face? Yeah. Well, I'm already messed up. I wonder if this herb that I have will counteract the spray that's all over my face. Or I'll even get more messed have up. It. You don't have it with you. It's in the card outside. Out balls. Are we waiting for like what I would do next or something? Oh yeah, you're no Galma. Is... Okay. What am I doing? Something. Okay, oh, cool. you 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 cut out when you were describing what, what happened to me. So, so you, uh, I think you said Galma. Like... Fire main feels as if his hairs are on. They've been set on fire. 
Okay, on fire. That's what I thought you said. I got uh, broadcast in 15 minutes, not just right now. Uh, um, Hopefully y'all kill I, the tentacle. Uh, I, I, look, I look around for some water to dunk my head in. Uh, you do notice uh, water right at your... A nice clean pool of water. Oh, fantastic. I dunk my head right in. You take one point of damage for slamming your head against the floor where the worm was. Eh, nice. But it begins, you no longer feel the uh, fire anymore. The oh, that's good. Blur, blurry vision, but it's helping but now, the... Uh, but now my head hurts. Now your head hurts, yeah, but uh, the hallucination seems to have been stopped for now. Huzzah. Uh, Macho Tar, so I know the idol on the turn. Um, I'm gonna cast. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Magic Fang. Oh, on my. I oh, Nicholas is back. You gotta do a. You gotta do will saves. Didn't even know you were back. Back in black. Yeah, okay. Oh man, that shit. That shit don't affect you at all. Hmm. Uh, so you, you cast Magic Fangs. Alright, very so, good. So basically the Eidolon's attacks are all magical, plus he yeah. has a fire attack with his normal melee. So. That's right. Oh yeah, and they're natural attacks. Okay, it does hit, and because of the fire uh, element, when he lunges the attack, he's able to cauterize the spray of the, um, the spray of the tentacle, the severed tentacle. Machotar's turn. To, I kind of like that idea of getting this off my face. Yeah, it's a free action. You just wipe you wipe it off with your mitten hands. Oh yeah, I have mittens. Well, I guess I really don't have mittens on my hands. I just what? I'm seeing it that way, right? Yeah, you're, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna headbutt that water. The water on the floor. Yeah, go ahead. Assuming he sees it. Screw that. I'm just going to wipe it off with my mitten hands. Yeah, you, you wipe you wipe it off. Now there's... there's The mittens are dirty. Oh no, you've dirtied your mittens. No, it's my mittens. Can I shove my mitten hands in that water that he had butted? Yeah, you... Not my Super mittens. Mitten. Okay, so I do that. I'm gonna shove my face or my my hands in there. Oh shit! Five. You uh, you break your fingers on one hand on your right hand as you kind of slam them down. <laughs> <laughs> Take five points of damage. You don't break them. You jam them. I'm sure, we've all been there. Mm-hmm. Yep. There is no water. The pain begins to clarify your eyesight. You no longer have mitten. Did I have to lower my live down somewhere? Huh? Did, Did you lose any hit points? Me? Yeah, five, five HP. Five. Haha. Uh -huh. So it says hit Damn, points. Damn, that shit hurts. Goddamn. You reduce it to seven. The current. Uh. Who's next? Chris is next. What's up, says two TV? Krug, I was about to say, you sound like Krug Goose too. Why'd you change your name? Oh, except Chris. Chris sees it like it's just a statue. Toes, howdy, howdy. Playing little huh. Dungeons and Dragons. Kind of rub my eyes the, since they feel weird. Ooh, tell me more. Yeah, Krug. they're itchy. Ish. Well, they, they itch. They they feel like the they fell asleep. 
Uh, so, and since it's clearly not moving, it must be dead. So I'm going to turn around and walk away from. Because <laughs> I want to get out of this Toes, room. Toes, where that's is that? Covered in fucking gore. What's USF? I was but there's no more gore. You only see the walls, paintings of you. There is no Dana. Only the. How did you get your transition screen? I gotta figure out how and to that's make it. that you with just, my logo uh, going on. Well, the, the, every wall University you see, Southern Florida, okay. like it has a painting of you. Some aren't that good. Some are pretty good. This isn't right. No one's ever painted me ever. Oh, that's awesome, Gorilla Glue. I'm jealous. Huh. Well, Toes, I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. I'm a Minotaur, and this is the closest thing to a Minotaur do nothing. that I could do. All sometimes right. it's best to do nothing. Yeah, some sometimes it is. Uh oh, my cam DC. It's fine. Who's next? Uh, I'm trying to get better at video editing. I just gotta Nicholas? make more time with it, actually. So okay. video editing is something um, I'm doing rather than like. Uh, I'm not gonna I, do I, much It's Adobe Premiere. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm using Adobe Premiere. But, Premier. but, but I think transitions are used on Adobe. I can't so. remember. Mm -hmm. Like so I, all this I, I edit video in Premiere. I need yeah. to do more. Uh, uh, Alicia, moving, it so is a program called around, Snap so Camera. That's... You could download yeah, it on, your, it on your laptop. Just Google Snap Camera. This. <clears throat> oh, okay. okay. Oh, he, he starts shredding it, but uh, it. Oh yeah, due due to the the fiery, uh, you're sh like you're, he's shredding it. Crispy's there. You what? Shredding it. The um, parts that are splitting open message. are becoming their own tentacles. Lily Jericho like coming said, in with the raid. But it seems to be moving far slower after. <laughs> um, <clears throat> are there any more pictures? Yeah, I'm trying to uh, You're able to, your vision's a little blurry, but you're able to see the tentacle creatures still flapping around slowly. But, uh, Is there one or two? <laughs> it's one at the base, and it's branching out into... Several Lily Bear, how you several doing? Uh, welcome, Star Okay, Killer, but this is for all intents and purposes hands. one creature. It is, how yeah, is it is just one creature. Okay. Those of you who uh, don't know me, my name is Martin Casals. I wrestle under the name Marty the Moth Martinez. Uh, and right now I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, fine, swing on time in my life. Oh but, boy, do I! So I'm actually a minotaur. Oh, yeah, hell yeah! So that's why I got this. Apparently, the USF signal. I think this is, what was, was it? What? That was my Those, spiked chain. It was University of Southern Florida. So apparently I'm the, so, the Southern I'm Florida mascot. Because it's Where's the closest that? thing to, to a minotaur that I could actually there you go. find. So, might as well. Best heel in the business, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank take you very much. Swipe of it from the base. Uh, oh it's hell yeah! Not spraying anything oh, anymore. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like uh, you know when you're chopping down a tree and it's starting to lean. That's what it, that's what's happening. Hmm. So it leaves the words right. Well, we didn't read each Wait, other. It's like I'm using this chain time, as right? some kind of saw. Yesterday was hilarious. Like a, I was so like some sort of, like like some right sort of saw me. chain. So shout yeah. out to Lily. Let's, hmm. I don't know if I, I don't have to have. I'll have to workshop that a little bit. You want to play a game? It is the Macho Tar's turn. Brother. Brother. You want to play a game, brother? <laughs> hmm. I should get those voice effect things. Those are cool. I like them. They're fun. But it is the Macho Tar's turn. And uh, the pain lets you see. Uh, no longer see your mitten hands upside down, right side up. 
So I'm seeing clearly again. I can see yeah. clearly now the rain is gone. Thank you. You're welcome. So wait, what is else? Is everybody else doing? I missed... I missed... Uh, There's nothing attacking us understand. anymore, right? We killed everything. No, the tentacle creature's teetering right now. Uh, it's been cut at the base. It's been cut at the base. Hmm. Can I light my axe on fire and try to slit this guy down to light him uh, on fire? If if we had some sort of like like a flammable like liquid or oil theoretically, but I don't think we do. Unless anyone wants to uh, sacrifice their lantern. I was about to say, does the summoner have some kind of flaming type of thing? Ignite? Nope. I don't know what the spell's called. I am... No tag team? No tag team? Can we okay. tag team? Very little actual spells. They're all uh, buffs for me. And that's kind of by class design, too. You could tag team with uh, Crispy, do a tag team maneuver, if Nicholas tells it to. Yeah, I mean, the Eidolon's hands are visibly flammable, so... Oh, yeah! How can we use that? If you've got something that can light your, like be the fuel for your axe you can just kind of move your hands over the idol on his hand or move your axe on the idol on his hands and set it on fire and bam you go no, a city. Got something. Uh, is blood flammable let me one moment Yeah, if his blood is flammable, then I want to light this guy up somehow. The only thing I can think of is slapping my axe against something metal to make a spark. But a spark doesn't make fire. Unless he got him near those flammable hands of his. Any other suggestions, boys? The only other thing I can think of is any wooden debris. But just hit it with a burning log instead of your axe. Oh, yeah, because there is de debris all over you. There's debris, broken. but nothing on fire, right? The iron nope. one's hands are on fire, so if you mm -hmm. pick up a piece of wood. Ah. Now you're, you're talking. Right next to, yeah, you're right next to him, so you can just, you know waft your hand over, set it on fire, then beat the thing with Oh yeah, the camera turned off. I think the camera overheated. Yeah, can I just let this guy grab my wood? Can I let him grab my wood so he lights it on fire and then shove my wood into his face? I Whoa. think you I, I definitely think that he can grab your wood. Yeah, I want to let him grab my wood, and I'll put his wood right on his face. It's gonna be so hot. It's gonna be a fiery hot. All right, hell yeah. Uh, well, the wood is the wood alights. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll. I'm assuming you're gonna bash the tentacle, aren't you? Once it's on fire. Oh yeah, your club is on fire. Your makeshift club is now on fire. So Not for two, which one? Um, just go to the top right and hover over the dice. It's the second to last one on the left, sorry. Of the main. Nope, got the character sheet all the way on the left of the screen. Conditions above. Not the character sheet. Not the character sheet, oh. All the way over here. Oh, okay. D20. There you go. Now click on D20. Yep. That's oh. 17 plus 5 is like 20. 
Seven, 17. Yes. Uh, roll a D, uh, D10. Oh, two D10. One more. Oh, you guys can see it? I can't see it, so, okay. All right. Seven. The Macho Tor begins IS to bash the shit out of the tentacle creature. And, uh, much to, uh, everyone's not surprised, the fire begins instantly cauterizing the creature's wounds uh but since it's being jeremy gifted bit, star it's, it's, killer of subscription hey jeremy thank you much for right. these the creature gifted seems to sub. be subdued or killed actually dude. if the modulator continues to beat the shit out of it <laughs> hey click on that yeah i like beating the shit out of him that i think good. it needs a we'll curse the elbow as well Phone people's elbow. Nope, nope, nope. The macho he elbow. He climbs Crispy. That's seven feet of height. Can Crispy withstand his weight to drop the elbow from seven feet in the air? Oh, yeah. Jeremy and Starkiller, make sure that you're linked up with uh, the exhibition point cards down there. Do it, I'm gonna do it, my friend. Here comes the macho elbow. Ooh. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, no. Majotar is too busy beating the hell out of this creature. <laughs> oh, I'm over here cutting promos, and this stupid thing wasn't on top. My whole chat's hearing me cut promos on Jet. Wow! Ooh, we're gonna drop this much elbow right off of Crispy here. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I see we dropped the elbow. He the elbow. Starkiller, make sure to get exclamation point. Chest sent to you, Starkiller. Chris killer. begins recovering. Do Jeremy, we um, get uh, signed up for stream loops down under the, underneath that exclamation point cards. We're going to send you a free Lo stream loops chest. Uh, Thank you for gifting us sub. We're going to uh, give you a stream, like the, free stream loops chest which you can make me die in the game. Which Chris is now succumbing to the setups. madness. Make Ooh, my dog yeah. be on the camera. I'm it. seeing this elbow about to be dropped. So thank you much for the support. If you'll drop the elbow soon, I need a I need a roll. <laughs> you oh, you need a roll? I thought we were, oh, we were waiting for me this whole time. <laughs> yeah, dude, you need a roll. You need a roll. Miz, you put the bed. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> what do I? What? Do I, which one do I roll? Roll a roll a twenty. You need to take that d twenty. And roll that sucker nice and good. I mean, the DC might be really low on this one. <laughs> the, um, is that an eight? That's yeah. an eight. Fuck. Yeah, the elbow drop isn't so much the Macho Man hang time. More like, um... Who, who, who would do a crappy elbow? Just a crappy elbow drop, but you, you kill the thing up. You, you kind of Almost, fell off of Crispy. I don't think anyone's impressed. <laughs> Crispy moved! Visibly upset. Crispy moved! Quit being so unsteady, Crisp! Yeah, that's right. Blame the familiar. Blame, Blame the, the ring ropes. Oh, yeah, wobbly ring ropes. Uh, also, so you I said you use it, and Jeremy, it. Stream Elements is really fun. I would definitely use Stream Elements. What are you trying to do? Because this is available to continue whenever it's on. I don't know if y'all have to leave or what. Yeah, I gotta go go jump on a podcast, actually. Yeah, yes. Log on to like a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but how about we continue this on with the same spot? Can we do like a save or whatever? Yeah, it automatically saves the spot. So anytime y'all want. So we're gonna end on a sad ass elbow drop? Yep. Yeah, that's your fault, man. That's Crispy's fault. Hey, it's Crispy's fault, man. Stuff. It's Crispy's fault. Marty rolled it. We we killed stuff. 
fell under the influence of some hallucinogens. Good times. You guys wouldn't let me smoke my herb. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but we got, we had good times, yes. Yes, and I think I finally got my character sheet fixed. <laughs> it only took most of the quest. <laughs> So hopefully I'll get to the bottom of this and y'all Let's see next Thursday. Just let me know. Hopefully we get our family stuff settled so it's a lot cleaner. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Uh, hopefully somebody gets their elbow drops uh, taken, taken a look at. Because that was not very Mega Powers of you. I must say. Well, Mega Powers had some turnbuckles that worked. Crispy's a shitty turnbuckle, man. <laughs> Like those crazy backyard wrestling. <laughs> no, even there's some good turnbuckles. This is crispy. You need to work on that, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, well, uh, no, everything's a and y'all can go ahead and edit what y'all need to edit. And I guess that's it. I'm gonna turn off my stream as well. All right, well, good game, folks. All right, y'all, thank you so much. I got to get on that podcast. I appreciate y'all playing with me. That was fun. We'll do it again. Yep. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, chat. Later. Thank you for the follow, Rachel fan. Bam. All right, guys. Ooh, look at all them freaking bunnies. All them bunnies. All right, y'all. Still mad about that eight on the elbow drive. Dude, I could Dude, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I would have rolled it better, but Crispy is a shitty, 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 shitty corner. Just saying. Just saying. Just hold on to that loot chest for now and give it to them when I can enjoy them. Well, we can give it to you, Jeremy, and it just stays there for you. You don't have to use it right now. We'll just give it to you. Um, so we'll give it to you, and then you can just have it for whenever you need, want to use it. You don't have to use them at all today. You're one of my favorite wrestlers ever. Why, thank you very much, Rachel. Where are you out of? How you join Corn? They're saved in your profile. They don't expire. Yeah, what, what my girl said. So, guys, that was our second time ever playing D&D. Unfortunately, we ended it with me five climbing up my friend, jumping up with that elbow drop, and then he moved, and I slipped. Have I ever wrestled in Idaho? No, I heard there's a wrestling promotion in Idaho, but I haven't heard anything about it. So, if there is a wrestling promotion in Colorado and Idaho, tell them to call me. Still got to remove that cosplay thing from the overlay. Yes, Dirk. This weekend. Uh, we're going to be working on our bathroom as well as updating all of this. So I know Titus has sent us some, uh, stream loots chests. I'm sorry. Some, some sound effects that we're going to add on here. Um, there's some things that I want to add on here. We get, got a collaboration now as part of a stream team that I can't quite say until I, idiota says so, but there's going to be a few things we're adding in the updating. So we'll be back. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be probably working on our... On our bathroom and stuff, so I don't think we will actually be able to stream. Um, it, it's not normally in our schedule anyway, but usually we do the extra casts for our workout. It's called Wrestle Club. We'll tell them to call me, Rachel. Ask them why the hell haven't they called they said anything. Do you say hi to my best friend Amanda? She loves you. Hi, Amanda. You and Rachel are gonna go tell Wrestle Club to give me a call so that I can go wrestle in Idaho and then so that we can all say what's up to each other. How's that? So guys, we're going to go raid. Loved, why not anymore? Wait, what did I miss? Thanks. We are going to go raid my awesome, musically talented, amazing friend, Mega Ran. He is playing Drunk Lord right now. 
Just a short question? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're asking that. Okay. Amanda is in GA. I'm in, jo in Idaho. Well, Amanda, tell the, your local wrestling promotion in Georgia to call this guy. Uh, and so I could go drop him some elbows. It'll be huge. It'll be huge. Marty the Moth over in Georgia, over in Idaho. It'll be huge. So we're going to go raid Mega Ran right now. Starkill, thank you very much for the follow and hanging out with us today. Uh, if you guys all haven't, drop me a follow so that you guys can get notified when I go online. Exclamation point socials. Go ahead and follow me on all of my socials. All that good stuff. I normally am done streaming at this point until Monday. So, on Monday at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be doing my workout some more. Hopefully give you some good news and hopefully show you a new setup here on all this. Follows you on Twitter? Hell yeah, Rachel. Thank you very much. All right, y'all. We're going to go say what's up to Megaran. Copy and paste the raid. Tell him what's up. Send him love. Tell him the moth sent you, all right? I hope you all have a wonderful day. Be good to each other. Much love. Places. Is your money not sure what to do with itself? At Ally, we'll help it save for the future with our smart savings tools. For all things money, you deserve an ally. Hello, Marty! What's up, brother? Just playing some Double Dragon. Much more chill. Uh, honestly, it kind of put me to sleep. It's kind of too chill. <laughs> 